Hi, I'm Sally, the CEO of Boss Lady Consulting, and I want to talk you through three things you've got to do while you are planning for your next year marketing strategy. Number one, reevaluate what are the top goals of your business, not just your department, but the business as a whole. Ask the CEO, ask your boss, the COO, the revenue manager, whatever it is, find out what are the top two or three things that are the priority for growth for next year. Number two, conduct a start, stop, continue audit of your marketing activities already. If you have a team, they 100% should be involved in this. Get a whiteboard, a flip chart, an online brainstorming page, whatever it is, and ask, what are the things that we're doing currently that we need to stop doing? What's not working? It might be something like how you're communicating or not. It might be how you're scheduling. It might be a piece of tech. It might be some of the projects that you've been working on this year don't align to those main goals. So those may need to either be paused or cut altogether. So find out what are the things that we should stop as a team. And then you want to talk about what are the things that are really working that we should continue doing. This may be a weekly stand-up meeting, or it may be a piece of software that you implemented. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be a specific task, but how are you communicating? How are you scheduling? How are you working together? How are you planning time off? Anything is on the table for what is working and you should keep. Just like what is not working and we wanna 86 it. So the third part is then what should you start? What are new ideas or thoughts that you or the team have on what could help you reach your goals better, work more collaboratively together, or improve the morale, the workforce, the engagement, the effectiveness, the measurement, whatever it is, what are some things that you should start? Now the stop, start, continue exercise really helps you get clear on the collective and what's working, what's not working, and it will help you prioritize things that you need to implement in the next year. So you know what the new goals are and you know what things you need to start, stop, continue in order to roll up to those goals. And the third part is then to really take a look at your budget. What money do you have now? Now evaluating what you may start or stop, what you're continuing, lay budget over those things and then really take a look at what money's left. Where can you reallocate to support these primary business objectives? Or do you need to ask for more money? Now this is a vital step because you can't just assume you have the funding you need. And you know, maybe your organization is doing a downsize or has budget cuts in mind, but when you can specifically with clarity say, our goal as an organization is to grow this product line by X percent, make sure you know exactly how much, not just grow. We want to grow by a million dollars in this product line, then you can say, in order to do so, we are going to allocate this, this, this. This is the kinds of ideas that we know will help drive growth here. Our advertising budget is inadequate. In order to drive this kind of response, we need to have an ad budget of X dollars. Therefore, I'm asking for so much more money in order to drive this growth. 
See, you're showing directly how your work is going to launch the organization, support the most important objectives, and they will then pull the resources from other things that aren't supporting the growth of the most important objectives and deliverables for the organization. This is vital to demonstrating your value as a marketing leader, your value as a marketing organization, and to being able to help support the growth of your business in a meaningful way. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below.